Hey guys, today we're going to do our September speed reviews. Um, I'll probably have to do this in two parts, I reckon, because I think there's a few things that I've tried out. So let's get into it. First, well, this is like in no particular order, but yeah. Um, I tried out this shower gel from Bath and Body Works. This is the Everlasting Magic. Has notes of bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. This came out last year, I think, for Halloween. And oh my god. Oh, this smells so good. They didn't bring it back this year, which is so sad. This is why I have a problem, right? So I buy this, like, special limited stuff, and I'm like, oh, my God, yes, love it. And then I get too scared to use it because I'm like, what if I fall in love and I can never have it again? So my brain's just a bit weird, but this smells so good. Like, I am so obsessed. Um, the next one was the Bath & Body Works Sunshine Mimosa Shower Gel. This says it's barber bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus and smells really nice in the bottle super great in the shower and on my skin i just don't love it and it's so upsetting um i feel like so i had a shower the other night before bed and i used this and then i feel like the, like rest of the night kate and i watched a movie or something and i was laying in bed and i kept getting like i kept kind of like smelling my skin and it just smelled i don't know like i don't know how to explain it it smelled like i don't know just not very flattering. Like, I feel like it smells really nice in the bottle, but I just don't think it mixes with my skin, unfortunately, which is such a shame. I mean, I'll probably still use it up. It's, like, not terrible. But, yeah, I found that when I was in the shower and stuff, I was trying to use other products to try and get the smell off me. So, I don't know. I'll see how I go with it. If it ends up being, like, you know, I can't get over it, then I'll just give it to someone else or something. But... Yeah, it's such a shame because I feel like, yeah, in the bottle it smells really nice, but there's just something in it that doesn't gel with my skin, so. Anyway, um, I tried out the Way Scalp, 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 Scalp and Body Scrub. This one is in the um, St. Bart scent. This was so nice. So I used it in my on my scalp. I love a good scalp scrub. I bought this when I went away on holiday. Oh, it smells really, really good, but it was just such a nice formula. Felt really nice on the scalp, made my head feel, you know, super clean and stuff like that. I hate the feeling of, like, my hair being dirty. I feel like, I don't know, it just makes me feel really uncomfortable and stuff. And, like, I typically wash my hair, like, once a week, maybe twice, but mostly once a week. And if it goes, like, a couple of days past wash day, I just feel gross and my, everything feels like... I feel like I can't relax if my hair's not clean. Um, and so I feel like when it is wash day, I really like to go ham, like, you know, use all my different products and stuff. And that was a really nice one. It just made my scalp feel so nice and fresh and clean. Just feel like it really got rid of all the, like, gunk and stuff, like, that had built up through the week. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. This isn't really, like, a new product, but I, like, I don't know, it's like a repurchase. But this is the Lord of Misrule Shower Gel. So it says, get down and earthy with mischievous and stimulating black pepper and patchouli. Whilst Harrigan seaweed softens the skin. You won't be fooled after washing with this. I do really like this scent. Ah, oh, just such a hard one though. So I love this scent. But it also is very, like, earthy. It smells a bit like grass. Um, you know, like, it's not the most flattering scent like I like it because it's a bit weird and I don't know it smells like I don't know it smells like really cool and weird and unique and I love the smell of it but I kind of find myself not using it heaps in the shower just because it's like it's not like I don't want people to smell that on me you know what I mean because like I feel like it's like I said like I feel like it smells a little bit like grass and a little bit like earthy and stuff so I don't really want to smell like I've been rolling around in the field you know but oh, I do love it. Um, I used to love the bath bombs of these. They're so good. I honestly don't know why I bought another one. It looks like this was... <laughs> it says I was meant to use it by 2022. So honestly, it's whatever. But I do really love Lord of Misrule. It's just something that I don't love on my body. You know? So anyway. Let's get on to some makeup bits. So I tried out the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I did really enjoy this, honestly. I put up a video... Um, so if you want to watch like a dedicated review or whatever, there's one up on my channel. Um, yeah, it's stunning. It's really nice. I can see why all of the brands duped it. In saying that, I don't know if it's that different from the dupes. Um, I really want to do a video soon where I 
compare it on my face with the dupes just to see how it compares but apart from that I really like it. I've been trying out the, I don't know how to pronounce this, it's Bowitsky, I think, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's professional face and body paint. This actually got sent to me like a couple of years ago and I haven't used it. Um, and then the other day I was like starting my Halloween looks and I was like, damn it, like I don't have any face paint. And I was like, girl, yes I do. I honestly really like this. It's really, really nice. It's not, it's not for full face stuff, unfortunately. I don't think so anyway. I used it, like I, I managed to get it on my full face for one of my looks. But yeah, I think it works better for, you know, doing details and things like that. It's really pigmented, really nice, and yeah, I do really enjoy that. So, another one that I tried out was from Global Colors. These are like wet face paints, so these are much better for your like full face things because you can paint them on. These dry so far, so you have to be careful, but um, I used this one and I really, really liked it. Um, the pigment was insane. So yeah, I've been trying out some really cool new face products and yeah, I've been really, really enjoying them. So that's super fun. Tried out the P. Louise a Droplet of Magic Palette. This came out last year for Halloween. I only just got around to using it. Um, I did a full tutorial on it if you want to check out my thoughts, but I mean, you guys probably know by now that I really love my P. Louise shadows and I feel like most of them, um, I'm yet to find a shadow from P. Louise that I don't love, I think, apart from maybe those cream shadows in that palette that time, you guys know. Um, but anyway, that's the first side of it. And then that is the other side. So I've used it on my eyes and it's also been getting a bit of a workout in my Halloween looks as well. I've been using it for some of those as well. So yeah, I've really been enjoying that one. Try out the Be Perfect um, Carnival Interstellar palette. This palette is, oh my God, so, so stunning. And the fact that you can't buy it anymore actually makes me want to crumble inside because, oh, I just think this is one of the most aesthetically pleasing palettes I've ever seen. And it's also a really, really nice formula. You guys know that um, be Perfect is another one where I absolutely love their shadows. I think they're so great. So yeah, really enjoy that palette. So stunning. They need to bring it back. I didn't honestly try out that much makeup this month because I've one, I was away and also because I've been doing all my Halloween looks. Um, but I did try out the NYX Butter Gloss in Sugar Glass. I really enjoy it. It's like a clear gloss. I'm going to put it over the top of my end curler. Um... It's just really nice. Makes your lips look hydrated and shiny. Super comfortable on the lips. Yeah, it's just really, really pretty. I really enjoy it. And I also tried out this P. Louise lip base. This one is in Sheer Baddie. So stunning. I think I wore this in the same look that I tried out the Be Perfect Carnival palette in. So if you want to see it in action, you can check it out there. But yeah, love these. I actually really, really enjoy them. I think they're really nice. They're a little bit, the formula's a little bit hard, like... You've got to get used to the formula, but once you are, they're so nice. That's the shade there. Um, so yeah, that was like all of the makeup I tried out. I feel like I barely tried any makeup out, um, but we did try out a lot more body care and skincare. So let's get into some of that. Okay, I tried out the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. It says it's calming and hydrating. I loved this so much. One, it smells so fucking incredible. Like. So it's like banana yogurt or like banana custard or something. Yeah, it smells so good. And I just think the jar and the color and just everything about it is so cute. I love it. Um, and it just made my skin feel so nice. And it looked so nice as well. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. I'm so excited to keep using that one. I feel like my skin is quite dry, especially at the moment because I'm doing so many of the like special effects. Like, you know, I'm putting liquid latex on, face paint, all that stuff. It's just drying my skin out. So it's been really nice to be trying out some new moisturizers. Um, and also this, this was so nice. This is the Hay Bud Hyaluronic Acid and Hemp Serum. It says it's got hemp, hyaluronic acid, it's cruelty free, it's got better, better in? soybean oil and it's vegan and this was just so nice as well i think i used these two together and them together was just oh match made in heaven love those um, i used this from bath and body works this is the everlasting um body cream it's in the sh same scent as the shower gel oh it just smells so good i honestly feel like it smells even better in the body cream like oh it's just so amazing and i love these as well these are so good at soaking into the skin and I put a lot of these on, like I squeeze it out, put it all over my body, rub it in, I leave it for, I don't know, like a minute or two and by then it's already soaked in and yeah, 
I love the Bath and Body Works body creams. I think they're so good. And I also tried this one. This is the Frosted Coconut Snowball. This one I got from like one of the Christmas collections a couple of years ago. Oh, this smells so, so incredible. I don't know how they make things smell so good at Bath and Body Works. I really don't. But anyway, this one says a touch of the tropics and a dash of the North Pole. Frosted Coconut, North Pole Vanilla and Winter Freesia. So good. Love that. I tried out the Sol de Janeiro. I can't say it. Beige Floor. It's the Chirosa. What is it? Let's say what's I think it's is it Chirosa 68? I don't know, it's one of them. You know the one, the light pink one. Um, this is the Skin Renewing Body Wash. I took this with me when I went away on my trip because it was like a small one. And it is nice, but I don't like it as much in the body wash. So it's like quite a creamy body wash. It's not like a gel. It's not like a shower gel. It's like creamy and stuff. Um, and I really love the moisturizer. It smells really nice. And this does smell nice as well. But I feel like because it's in the body wash, um, it's like a little bit creamier or something. I don't know if that makes sense, but... It changes the scent a little bit and I don't like it as much. I don't like anything that make like makes me smell like buttery or like creamy or I don't know how to explain it. Like it used to happen to me as well with the Lush Butterball bath bomb. I remember that I used that and after it my body like it's not that it smelled bad, it just smelled like really creamy or like buttery or oily or something. And yeah, I just don't like it. And it's the same that happened with this, like it kind of gave me that same like after smell so yeah I still do like this but I much prefer the like the actual cream compared to this this isn't something that I would repurchase in saying that I love like the original one like the boom boom cream or whatever in the shower gel that's really nice so I don't know I guess it's just obviously different scents reacting with my skin so anyway that's why I'm gonna leave part one we'll go over everything else that we tried out in part two so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye.